Hello everyone, it's Alex Faux, author of the Rules for Vampires series of books, here to wish you a very, very happy World Book Day. I am joined here today by Leo the Vampire and Minna the Ghost, who are uh, my characters in the Rules for Vampires series. Uh, you can see them just here. We have book one, which is Rules for Vampires. As you can see, illustrated by the legendary Sarah Ogilvy, and we have Rules for Vampires: Ghosts Bite Back, uh, also illustrated by Sarah, who is absolutely wicked. Now, World Book Day and World Book Week are always so so busy for me. Um, I'm so lucky to get to speak to so many amazing readers um, up and down the country. What a great celebration of! stories of reading and of creativity so i hope wherever you are you are having an absolutely brilliant world book day and world book week too rules for vampires follows the story of leo the vampire uh, as she turns 111 it's her 111th birth night which is a very very important night for a vampire as they must go out and hunt on their own they have to hunt their very first human for the first time on their own only Leo's quest goes terribly wrong uh, when she accidentally creates two ghosts who are at war with each other. Leo must then team up with ghost girl Minna, just here, ta -da, um, and uh, defeat the wicked orphan master before Leo's evil, powerful mom finds out what she's done. Book two, so this is Ghost Spike Back, Rules for Vampires Ghost Spike Back. Uh, this actually follows on and we will be joining Leo and Minna as they journey to the ghostly realm for the very first time, summoned to the ghostly realm. Uh, very, very perilous journey indeed. And unfortunately, this just happens to fall on the same night as the Blood Moon Banquet, which is a very, very fancy, very important vampire party that just happens to be at Castle Motterberg, Leo's home, on this same year. Wouldn't it be a great shame if these two worlds collided and caused loads of chaos and ended in a great big battle? If these sound like your kind of thing, if you're thinking that you might love to read these, you can find these anywhere that books are sold. Um, you can also find them to read for free in your local library. So definitely speak to your librarian. Um, they will be able to get hold of these for you. Um, so you can read and enjoy. Speaking of enjoying reading, even though I am going to be extremely busy uh, in the week surrounding World Book Day itself, I am going to be making some time to read and to enjoy. There's nothing better than curling up with a great adventure and really, really getting into another world and another story. Let me share some of my all-time faves. So this is... <laughs> The uh, Series of Unfortunate Events, a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. Uh, you can see them all here. They are in a beautiful rainbow. I have actually had these since I was a little girl. Uh, it gives you kind of like a, uh, a cozy feeling to read it, but also a feeling that you're in terrible danger, which is basically a combination that I really, really love. Um, so I'm definitely going to be having a look through these again. There's also a really great series on Netflix. So if you are thinking that you might like to borrow these from your library, get them read and then watch the TV show and see what you think. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was very, very close. I also found this secondhand, unauthorized autobiography of Lemony Snicket. Uh, I'm really excited to jump into this. You know that feeling when you get something new and you're just like, oh, I can't wait to read it. Speaking of gothic stories, I also have these three. The Beast and the Bethany by Jack Meggett Phillips. Uh, he is absolutely nuts in the best way, and I really, really love this. Valentine Crow and Mr. Death. This is by Jenny Spangler, who is also a Staffordshire author, just like me. This is actually um, Jenny's author-illustrated debut, so she did the pictures, as well as the words in this. If I did that for vampires, the pictures would be terrible, they'd be like stick figures. And finally, on my chapter book recommendation for uh, spooky fiction, I have Dead Good Detectives that I'm going to be reading. This is by Jenny McLaughlin. This is right up my street, as you can probably guess, uh, because it's about ghosts and I love ghosts. So I'm going to enjoy that one very much. 
more of a fairy tale kind of spookiness now we have uh, the book of secrets by alex dunn this book is absolutely beautiful really really gorgeous uh, i play a lot of dungeons and dragons in my spare time and this absolutely fits into that kind of um mystical fey kind of uh, magical vibe that i really really enjoy i really enjoyed this and finally, I'm also going to be reading some of my favourite manga. I know that there are a lot of manga, manhwa, comic fans out there as well. Um, this is my fave. It is Haikyuu. You can see it just here. Now, this might be a little bit of a shock to some of you, given how um, non-athletic I am. Uh, but this is a volleyball manga. And uh, this is a small... A small portion of what me and my friends have managed to collect between us. Uh, this is just what I could fit in my hand, but I'm pretty sure the stack is about as tall as me now, so there's a lot of it to enjoy. I have noticed a lot more manga, a much better selection of manga making its way into libraries for readers to enjoy, which is wonderful. It's something that, um, that I definitely want to see more of in the future. I hope that whatever you guys are reading, whether it is fiction and chapter books, light rules for vampires, um, whether you are into comics like me, whether you are into uh, non-fiction reading, I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you take some time just to slow down, get cosy and read what you want to read. I know that so many of you as well are working on your own things, whether that is writing or drawing or creating comic strips. Uh, I've met a lot of young people who like to um, make like little figures and make animations and things. Absolutely amazing. World Book Week, fantastic celebration of stories. What a great time to be creating your own stuff as well. To anyone who is picking up Rules for Vampires, uh, either for World Book Week or in the near future, I would like to leave you with a little bit of a challenge. See how many frogs you can find. It seems like a weird thing to say, but Sara for some reason seems to really, really love frogs and she's put a lot of them in here. See how many you can spot uh, and then you can always ask your teacher to let me know how many you found uh, at my author email address or on Twitter or Instagram. And that's it from me. Happy reading, everybody. Happy World Boot Day. Have a great time and I'll see you next time. Bye.